able to come in and give something more of a positive nature to the area and to the, and to the building and the location means a lot to me. A business owner wants to transform a nightclub with a troubled history. April Harden is hoping her hair salon and beauty school will help the community move on from a high profile shooting. Knoxville police say an innocent bystander was shot and killed in late March. Investigators say the shots did come from the parking lot of the Vibe nightclub on Broadway in North Knoxville. The victim was in the drive through lane of Crystal several blocks down the street. 10 News reporter Sean Franklin finds out what is next for the building with that violent past. This building here at the corner of Branson Avenue and Broadway has a history of violence, but one woman is hoping to leave that behind forever. Authorities boarded up the North Knoxville nightclub called The Vibe back in April after a deadly shooting. Early Sunday morning, March 31st, 25-year-old Jesse Roberts was killed while at a nearby Crystal restaurant drive through when multiple shots were fired in front of the club. She was never at the club that night. I'm very excited to bring something new and fresh. April Harden knows all about that history and wants to move forward. It just means a lot to me to give back to the community that way. She's opening the Dream Institute. It's actually a full service salon. We also have a barber shop. We also have a tattoo studio um, and again soon to becoming the beauty uh, academy. Harden hopes the hair salon services and training for future cosmetologists will have a positive effect on the community after the violence here. I look forward to doing that and also hoping that I don't get any type of, you know, reflection on what was previously here because I am totally different than what a, a nightclub is or after hour spot. Michael Dewar lives nearby in the Edgewood Park neighborhood. He says the Dream Institute is exactly what the community was hoping for. Her ideas of expansion to a beauty school upstairs, that, that just enhances the entire neighborhood, it enhances the entire, actually the whole city. I'm wanting to provide more stable income for people that are interested in, you know, obtaining a career in the beauty industry. Harden says her hope is to brighten futures in a place with a dark past. So I'm just working hard to get that done, but most definitely it's going to happen. Harden says she's planning on a ribbon cutting ceremony for the opening here for the salon in a couple of weeks. Back to you. Thank you, Sean. The Knoxville Police Department does say the investigation into that shooting at the former club does remain open. Turning now to